Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a camera animation in Clo. In the last video, we created motion animations, so if you missed it, check out the link at the top. In this tutorial, I'll guide you step by step, from starting the animation to saving it. I've already prepared my design and added a background scene as well. If you want to learn how to add a background, check out the tutorial linked at the top. First, go to the animation section in the simulation window. I've already completed a motion animation. You can see the avatar moving along with the camera path I've set. With the camera, you can zoom in and out, as well as rotate it to any angle you prefer. Now let's start by adding avatar motion. Open the avatar motion window. When the motion settings window pops up, just click OK as it is. Next, record the avatar's motion by clicking the record button. Once it starts, it will record based on the length of your motion animation. You can track the remaining time to complete the recording. For me, this process took around 30 minutes. Now that it's done, let's add the camera. Click the Add Camera button and a preview window will appear. To see the camera's position, click the Show Camera button next to the Add button. Now, we're ready to position the camera. There's a long main line representing the camera's center. The way to move the camera is by clicking on the camera and using the direction lines that appear. You can move it up, down, left, or right, as well as adjust its position closer or farther away. This line's small dot at the end must stay within the bounds of the avatar. Otherwise, it will move out of the camera's frame and disappear. Make sure the center of the main line is aligned with the avatar's center. You can also move the main line. Similar to how you move the camera, you can adjust its position or set it closer or farther away. Move the camera based on the scene for a camera preview. Now let's add camera movement. Move the red timeline bar to the beginning. Gradually move the bar to the right one or two frames at a time while adjusting the camera's position. As you move the camera, a path line will appear, saving the camera's position for each frame. If so you're using the curve line option, the camera's movement will be saved with smooth curves. To save the camera's path as straight lines, go to the property editor on the right, turn on the straight track option. For natural movements, turn off the straight track option. 
and keep the continuity on to ensure smooth transitions between frames. Let me show you the process quickly. Once the camera movement is complete, we can render and save the video. Go to the Render option at the top and refresh the screen. Stop the render temporarily and move the timeline bar to the beginning or to the point where you want the video to start. Before rendering the video, adjust a few settings. Go to Image Video Properties and turn on the Save Video option. Set the Image Video option to Animation Specify a save location. Since a large number of frames will be saved, it's convenient to create a new folder in advance for easier access later. Now, click the Render Start button. At the bottom of the render window, you'll see the time remaining and the current render progress. This process takes a lot of time. For me, it took around 24 hours in total with 481 images saved. Here's my final animation. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time with more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye!